Hi everyone, I'm Rob Watson and this is a short overview for the third lecture in Tech 3022 Advanced Social Media and Production. Um, as ever, uh, I have produced a set of PowerPoint slides, lots of images, some clips, uh, which we'll work through in the lecture session uh, and which is accompanied by a set of notes uh, with the background reading and the links and any diagrams that might be important uh, for the things that we're discussing. As ever, with the notes, uh, you can download this from the DMU Commons wiki. Uh, look for the Tech 3022 uh, page and uh, you can convert this as into a Word document if you need to adapt it. Uh, so I'll be publishing as ever, I'll publish this each week uh, in advance. It's up there now, so you can read it in advance if you wish to. Um, what we're gonna cover this week in the uh, lecture is uh, the idea of thinking about uh, food literacies. Uh, and the reason I'm using this is because I think food is a really good kind of stand in. It's, it's a medium and it's a really good way of getting us to think about how the meat, how we, we interact with the world uh, as and through different types of media. And we might think about films or games or television programs or music, but food is something that's culturally created. It's something that is defined through our practices. We have to learn how to think about and prepare and develop food. It doesn't just, you know, doesn't just come out the ground. I mean, there's an argument there, I think, to be had. So it's really useful for us to think about what are the kind of skills that people have? What are the kind of literacies? What do people need to know about? What's the know-how that people have when they're thinking about food? And if people have to have certain types of know-how when they're thinking about food, how can we adapt and use that kind of information to look at, say, social media? So it's kind of, we're using food as an example, as a, an analogy, and it will help us to think about the way that we use media, different types of social media as well. Uh, to support this, week, uh, this week's learning, uh, there is an article uh, which I've put a link to on the wiki. Uh, and the wiki is, remember, it's wiki.our.dmu.ac.uk. Um, so go there and look for the Tech 3022 page. Uh, and there's an article by uh, Helen uh, Vidgen and Daniel Gallegos, uh, which is called Defining Food Literacy and Its Components. It's quite a dense academic um, article. So, you, you know, kind of work through it with, you know, highlighter pen, print it out if you can, use highlighter pens just to pull out things like keywords. And we'll, it'll be it'll really form a useful uh, discussion point, uh, particularly as it's presented in quite a kind of academic style as well. Uh, but there's some use, useful issues there. Now, to get a sense of what they're actually talking about, I stumbled across a program on the BBC iPlayer the other evening, which I thought it's perfect. And it's about, it's called, uh, it's about the railways and the way the uh, railways in the United Kingdom uh, were established in Victorian times and what impact it had uh, on the way that we think about food, about how food was transported. So it tells the story of the 19th century, the introduction of the railways, again, a form of medium, uh, transport, uh, and how that had a knock-on effect and changed the way that we think about food, how food could be delivered and how food could uh, get to people. So what I want to use this lecture for is really just to talk about how our sense of food, our ideas of food, have changed over time and changed with different types of technologies. You might remember from your first year module, uh, the introduction to social media and technology, uh, we used the phrase from Jones and Hafner quite a lot about affordances and constraints. This is really just you know talking about that again. There are certain technical affordances, there are certain affordances that come from the materials that we work with and when we change those materials and we change the technology, it allows us to do new things. Whereas, it also constrains us in doing certain things. So that's where we're coming at with this lecture. Uh, so the notes are up online. 
Uh, the uh, PowerPoint presentations I'll deliver as a as a as a discussion uh, between us, uh, so we can debate and 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 think about the the different issues that emerge from it. Uh, there's the reading. Uh, there's a link on the wiki to the lead reading to this article. As ever, you know, notebooks and pens. Uh, we need to be taking note because I think it's the things that, if you like, fall in between. Uh, down the cracks in the sofa if you like they're the interesting things that we need to make notes about and if you've got any ideas as you go along for forward work for forward thinking then being able to jot it down in your notebook at the time I think is really important and really useful for us uh, okay so that gives us a brief overview of what we'll cover in the lecture for week three uh, I'll post another one of these videos for the lecture for week four so hopefully you can get ahead a little bit with some of the reading and you can get ahead with some of the videos that we're going to watch uh, and you can get ahead with some of the thinking.